Hello, everyone, and welcome back to ZE. Today, we've got an incredibly exciting and potentially historic discovery to discuss. It seems that Amelia Earhart's long-lost plane may have been spotted in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean by an exploration team. Stick around as we delve into the details and explore the significance of this remarkable find. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future updates. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with Amelia Earhart, she was a pioneering aviator who mysteriously disappeared in 1937 while attempting to circumnavigate the globe. Her disappearance has remained one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in aviation history. Over the years, numerous search efforts have been launched to locate her and her plane, but without success, until now. Just recently, an exploration team embarked on a mission in the Pacific and made a jaw-dropping discovery. They believe they found the wreckage of Amelia Earhart's plane. Imagine the excitement and anticipation surrounding this momentous event. But, of course, we need to approach this with caution and examine the evidence before jumping to any conclusions. The exploration team utilized state-of-the-art sonar technology and deep-sea submersibles to explore the ocean floor in the vicinity where Earhart's plane was last known to have disappeared. Initial reports suggest that the wreckage bears a striking resemblance to the Lockheed Electra, the plane flown by Earhart during her ill-fated journey. Could this finally be the breakthrough everyone has been waiting for? To gain some insights into the authenticity of this discovery, we've reached out to aviation experts and historians. They're currently examining the sonar images and evaluating whether the dimensions and features align with the characteristics of Earhart's plane. It's important to note that until a thorough investigation is conducted, we should remain cautious about declaring this as an absolute confirmation. If the wreckage does turn out to be Amelia Earhart's plane, the historical significance would be immense. It could potentially provide answers to the decades-old mystery surrounding her disappearance and bring closure to her story. We could learn more about the circumstances of her final flight and, perhaps, unravel the enigma that has captivated the world for so long. New clues have emerged in what is one of the greatest mysteries of all time. The disappearance of legendary American aviator Amelia Earhart. Deep Sea Vision, an ocean exploration company based in South Carolina, announced Saturday that it captured compelling sonar images of what could be Earhart's aircraft at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The discovery was made possible by a high-tech unmanned underwater drone and a 16-member crew, which surveyed more than 5,200 square miles of ocean floor between September and December. The team spotted the plane-shaped object between Australia and Hawaii, about 100 miles off Howland Island, which is where Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, were supposed to refuel but never arrived. The shape of the object in the sonar images closely resembles Earhart's aircraft, a Lockheed Electra, both in size and tail. Deep Sea Vision founder, Tony Romeo, said he was optimistic in what they found. All that combined, you'd be hard-pressed to convince me that this is not an airplane and not Amelia's plane," he said. The Deep Sea Vision team plans to investigate the area where the images were taken some time this year, Romeo added. Earhart and Noonan vanished in 1937 while on a quest to circumnavigate the globe. The trip would have made Earhart the first female pilot to fly around the world. Nearly a century later, neither of their bodies nor their plane have been definitively recovered, becoming one of the greatest mysteries of all time and generating countless theories as to what may have happened. Romeo, a pilot and former U.S. Air Force intelligence officer, sold his real estate company's assets in 2022 to start an ocean exploration business and, in large part, joined the long line of oceanic detectives hoping to find answers to Earhart's disappearance. His team had captured the sonar images a month into their expedition, but did not realize what they had discovered until the last day of their trip. It was really a surreal moment, Romeo said. The prospect of Earhart's plane lodged in the ocean floor backs up the popular theory that the aircraft ran out of fuel and sank into the water. But others have suggested that she and Noonan landed on an island and starved to death. Some believe the two crashed and were taken by Japanese forces, who were expanding their presence in the region leading up to World War II. 
Before we go, we've just received an exciting update from the exploration team. They've announced that preliminary analysis of the wreckage indicates a serial number on a piece of debris that matches the serial number of Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Electra. This development adds a layer of credibility to the discovery, but, of course, more detailed examinations are still underway. It's a significant step forward, and the anticipation continues to build as experts work tirelessly to confirm the authenticity of this find. Now, as with any groundbreaking discovery, there are already speculations and theories emerging within the aviation and historical communities. Some experts are suggesting that the condition of the wreckage might provide clues about what happened to Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan. Others are exploring the possibility of gathering additional artifacts from the site to further piece together the puzzle. It's an exciting time for aviation enthusiasts and researchers alike, the news of the potential discovery has also sparked reactions from people around the world. Social media is buzzing with discussions, and many are sharing their thoughts on what this could mean for the legacy of Amelia Earhart. It's incredible to witness the global impact of this story and how it has captured the imagination of so many. As we eagerly await more updates and confirmation, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you believe this is the long-lost plane of Amelia Earhart? What questions would you like to see answered if this discovery is indeed confirmed? Your insights could be featured in our follow-up videos as we continue to explore this historic development. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to break down the timeline of events leading up to this potential discovery. Amelia Earhart disappeared on July 2, 1937, during her attempt to fly around the world. Over the years, various search efforts were launched, but none were successful in locating her or the Lockheed Electra. Now, nearly nine decades later, advancements in technology have allowed this latest expedition team to explore the depths of the Pacific Ocean, bringing us closer than ever to solving one of the greatest mysteries in aviation history. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is the international collaboration involved in the expedition. Experts from different countries have come together, pooling their knowledge and resources to solve a mystery that has captivated people worldwide. It's a testament to the enduring interest in Amelia Earhart's legacy and the collective effort to uncover the truth behind her disappearance. As we eagerly await confirmation of this discovery, it's worth reflecting on the enduring legacy of Amelia Earhart. She was not only a trailblazing aviator but also a symbol of courage and determination. Her contributions to aviation and her groundbreaking achievements continue to inspire generations. If this find turns out to be her long-lost plane, it could serve as a fitting tribute to a woman who pushed the boundaries and paved the way for future generations of female aviators. Before we go, we want to hear from you, our viewers. How has the story of Amelia Earhart impacted you, and what are your thoughts on this latest development? Share your comments, theories, and questions below. We'll be monitoring the discussion and may feature some of your insights in our upcoming videos. Let's make this a collective exploration into the past. A deep-sea exploration team believes it has captured images of Amelia Earhart's plane on the ocean floor. The company, Deep Sea Vision, surveyed thousands of square miles of the Pacific Ocean floor last year. Pictures from the expedition show a plane-shaped object about 100 miles from Howland Island. In conclusion, whether you're an aviation enthusiast, a history buff, or simply intrigued by mysteries, the potential discovery of Amelia Earhart's plane is a momentous occasion. We'll be keeping a close eye on any new information and developments, so make sure to stay tuned for our future updates. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey into the past. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and we'll see you in the next one as we uncover more about this incredible chapter in aviation history. Fly high, and until next time, stay curious.